out front early. Looks like Elias is right there. Elias to the outside, but he's got Hart to the outside. Hart oh, just wow. stuffed a tough block and drop kicked it off the turn. And now he's going to battle side by side for the lead with Pat Node. Padno sneaking up there as Hart takes over the number one spot. Padno, whoa, into Angel and Padno slides it and drops it. Oh, unfortunate for Padno, he was going in, trying to make contact and assert himself into second. Oh, and another sled having an issue down here on the inside of the Arnicat Corner Complex. I wonder if that might have been the Oscar Norm sled that had some type of an issue as they come across the line. Yeah, Oscar. Having that sled stuck down there. I wonder if the front end locker again. Meanwhile, your race leader, Har, just coming into that yellow flag zone. You can see on the left where they're struggling to try to get Norm's sled clear. So that makes it just one lane around the outside for the moment here in the second Amsoil Pro Triple Crown main event. Front of the oh, as I say that, hang on. Emo almost threw it away. But as I was saying, I was giving the players guys a little bit of a tough time. They seemed too comfortable taking that second place last night. So that's not the pedigree that you guys have. Usually you're going for the wins. I think I struck a nerve, because they are definitely answering back. And LaBelle right on the edge, taking the inside lane split there through that Articap Polaris turn. As he gets back here over the end zone finish line, he's just jumping right into the berms. Mashing the gas and ripping. Yeah, this is a battle. One more straightaway. I don't think Elias has enough. And Emo covers off on that inside lane. That will be enough. Two for two so far in tonight's Enzoil Pro Triple Crown for Emo Haw. And look at that gap. 1.2 seconds from first to third. So LaPelle, he's tagged on to those top two runners.